So you want the answers to, I'm sure, one of your burning questions, which is how do you communicate and command an audience online, especially when you can't read the room? They aren't in the same room with you. You don't know how your presentation is landing. You don't know if you're holding their attention. So these are things in my experience, both for myself and for coaching others that I know for a fact work. They're going to work for you. And I've got a kind of fun bonus one at the end that might surprise you, but is very much in alignment with our human nature. So let's get into it. So the first thing is to start strong virtually. We talk about this in the other section of the course, and it is it is even more true online. I don't have to tell you about how many distractions there are. You need to cut through all of that and really connect with your audience. I also think that it's perfectly reasonable to ask your audience to give them a little bit of your undivided attention. You could, you know, say it in a lighthearted manner, but just to, you know, ask them to close those tabs and uh, set down their cell phone for a minute because you have something really important to share with them. That will give them a little bit of an expectation <laughs> that they should be paying attention to you. And we all know that if we get kind of called out online as a listener, um, that we're going to be more present, uh, you know, but if we have a phone open and if we're trying to do other things, but boy, if someone just kind of asks that of you, that can really help a lot. And then another thing to do is to start off your presentation. Um, I like to do two things. I like to get to the good stuff right away. Tell them what you're going to do. This is a little bit from me being on YouTube because you lose your audience in like 15 seconds if you don't tell them why they should listen to you. And then you can, after you've kind of got them and hooked them, um, relax it a little bit. Um, give them a personal anecdote. So this is uh, number two. Ask a question. You know, have them take a poll. Do a little chat for a moment. But to change it up so that you're not just coming at them with that same intensity that you started off with. Three is to keep your energy up. So. We start strong on video. Most of us do. Although I will say I also have been in conferences with people who are starting off already, like they're falling out of their own screen. And I think a lot of that has to do with them wanting to sort of hide <laughs> from the fact that they're present. You can minimize yourself. You can, you know, put yourself off to the side so that you don't have to look at yourself at all. Um, but don't hide. We're watching you. Take up that space and own it. It will really help. Keep up that great eye contact and keep your face animated. We come across as more flat online. I am a very animated person and I had to really change how I present online because I was coming off as flat for a time. So not only are you enunciating with your mouth, but you want to be engaging with your eyes and you really want to stay connected to what it is you're saying. If you're zoning out, you can guarantee that your audience is as well. Try to be as personable as you can. Any way that you feel like you can kind of get a read from your audience is going to be great. We don't just want to talk at them the entire time. And take advantage of that live, you know, correspondence you have by encouraging them to chat every now and then, write something in there, um, take a question, just to break up your own voice in the presentation. And finally, you stay till the end and I want to give you this final bonus tip, which is to set up an incentive for your audience to listen to you till the end. See how I did that? So we want to give them a reason to, to focus and to stick around, um, you know, even if it's their job. We want to let them know that there's a reason and there's even a reward. There's even a bonus. And then you decide what that could be. It could, it could be the answer to something. It could be questions and answers so they can ask their own things. Um, you could show the poll results for just some really silly, fun thing, but end on a really fun, personable note that includes your audience. And that is going to feel so great. They're going to get off that virtual presentation with you really feeling like they connected with a real person. And you can't ask for anything better um, online or in person. So those are the key tips. <laughs>